The deadlines have passed for students participating in extracurricular activities in Chesapeake to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Thanks for joining us. I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm Stephanie Hudson. Those who haven't been fully vaccinated will be tested regularly. Ten on your side, Aisha Tolliver spoke with school district staff about the mandate. Aisha, what did they tell you? Well, Stephanie, come to find out those vaccinated compared to those submitting to testing was nearly split right down the middle when it came to the high school. The district is still waiting to get final percentages from the middle schools, but explained what that process is going to look like moving forward. Whether it's running, hooping, swimming, or wrestling, some student athletes attending Chesapeake Public Schools will now welcome the routine of weekly COVID-19 testing. It's just another layer of protection to um, keep our athletes and our students safe and get them back out on the court. You know, they've missed so much over the last year and a half that, you know, everybody's just excited to be out there and, you know, playing again. Monday marked the vaccine deadline for middle school athletes in Chesapeake Public Schools, and then a week before that was the deadline for their high schoolers. That also includes those participating in extracurriculars. Program Administrator for Health Services Trudy Jeldirk says roughly 55% of their high school student population on the sports teams are vaccinated. That means the other 45% will have to get tested regularly moving forward. Now that includes about 10% of students on rosters who have not said what they plan to do. By testing the students, not only are we protecting the school, but we're also protecting the school that they're playing against because we know that that school is not going to take it back to and um, cause an impact and a disruption at their school level. Jeldirk says they have identified a schedule with each of the schools and they have no intention of taking students out of their classes for testing. So they've coordinated testing on student arrivals, departures, and lunchtime at one of the schools. A vendor called MAKO will administer the tests. What's important to know is this, this is a, a low nasal swab, so it's, a, it's not very it's not a very intrusive test as compared to some of the COVID tests have been in the past. So as a result, most people are okay with the test. Jeldirk says students will be tested once a week and there is a makeup day should they need it. The results take about 20 hours to come in. Now the high school testing started this past Monday and she says they made it through all the schools without any incidents. Testing at the 10 middle schools is set to start in the first few weeks of December. But if you have any questions about the process or just, you know, in general, you can find the link to the school district's FAQ page over on wavy.com. I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side. Thank you, Aisha.